All right. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be trying to introduce uh, us as the sea slug. It's a new ship that recently came out. I think about 24 hours as of now, and uh, there should be a fleet upgraded with it. Um, I can give you a few suggestions for other ones. It's generally a good all-around ship. It can work in almost any deck, and it can replace a lot of ships that you're using now to help improve your fleet. While I'm waiting, uh, I'll show you the one. So right now, this one, I'm going to be using this battle, Slug and Snipe. It's essentially a reveal, it's a reveal and snipe, but uh, with two attackers, which is Coracle, Galleon for attacking. Instead of using uh, something like Turtle and Squid, I'm using a Slug. Uh, as it, I'm, right now, I'm going to say it's one of the best revealers, if not the best uh, in the game. Then we have a Whale right here. Uh, the whale uh, is pretty good, and it's able to reveal and attack. If, for example, uh, you need it to reveal a bit more than with your slug, you want to see a larger area. That's what the whale, whale is good for. And instead of including something like the mini sub, which is what I did originally, I included the galleon, as this fleet does need another attacker. If your coracle gets taken out, or your whale and slug get taken out, you have nothing to attack with really. So. You do want to have an attacker, like a galleon, a longboat works also. Uh, perhaps a sailboat, raft, kayak, things like those, they work well. Uh, just a general, generally a good attacker. I chose a galleon myself. Uh, and that is accepted yet. Uh, so, for copy, uh, this is a pretty good fleet. It, well, it's, it's an okay fleet. It's mirror-centric. Um, as I do, I did want to create a fleet with mirror in it, as it is a, it's a fun ship to play, but you do need to be playing against the right person. No, so, it's not exactly the center of attention on this, though. With the sea slug, like I said, it's an all-around just good ship. For example, uh, in this fleet right here, uh, instead of using Crouchy Crab, I, you could use, just as easily, use a sea slug to help you reveal better for your catamaran and get more like where you want. Okay, uh, somebody accept it now. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to be using Slug and Snipe. Mm. Put the cork in the middle. I'm not sure how people look there. Let's see if I can win this one. So while I'm waiting. So here, you can always replace this with a Sea Slug. The Crafty Crab is fifth there, so more of a passive attack. But the Sea Slug, uh, it's you can control it better. So for example, uh, only after your second shot are you going to have something up. So you could use a Sea Slug here, a Sea Slug 2 tiles. Use your Sonar, find something, then uh, use your Sea Slug again. Then longboat the ship, assuming you found something, which you probably have by now. Then as you can keep doing it back and forth to get your catamaran up, make sure you leave a good catamaran spot open, do it, and win. That's I usually play like that, but um, with normal cannon attacks and crafty crab on the ship. Alright, my turn now. Right here. Uh battle attacker I do like to go in the offset corners. Yeah, like I said. Especially with new players. If not have taken his turn right now, I can better explain this one. This one very similar to this. You want to reveal, use your sonar and reveal, find somewhere to attack with your longboat. So like these three can stand alone. But this right here, the mirror, can help a lot. For example, Coracle, you have the Sea Slug to help with that. If your longboat cooldown is down, or maybe just another attacker like a raft, a sailboat, copy that. Also, great for catamarans. Uh, essentially, the best thing you can do with this. And so, like these three, that's your main fleet. But this, this is kind of like a a lucky strike. If you know, like you're playing someone in a tournament, uses a catamaran, a coracle, fleet, 
uh, and maybe just like a uh, like attack heavy fleet, you may want to grab the mirror instead of having a catamaran because you can also place this mirror with a catamaran. Uh, they're not taking their turn. Uh, so instead of playing right now, I'll show you a uh, battle replay where I did play well. Uh, One second, let me pull that up. All right here. So I get a really good sea slug hits early ones. I don't know this yet, but I'm actually assuming that this is his um, sea monster, as uh, the way it's positioned in place. And here, this hit. Right now, I'm thinking that like something like this is his sea monster. So I'm still thinking it's his sea monster. Uh, I'm gonna keep searching. I'm gonna do. A whale right here. I'm gonna find his sub. That was so right here. Um, when you're playing to a whale, you do want to leave some corners open to play your whale. Like right here, this is generally a pretty good spot to have a, or where most new players and battle attacker players will put their ships. So on this map especially, that's why I left lane open. Of course, I got to reveal something. We'll see here. I do my core hole. Now, I was surprised right here that there were ships so close together. So I think right now I'm thinking that this is a longboat going this way. Yeah. I'm taking out the sub note. The reason why I attacked back here is because I thought there was like something maybe that this could, this could have been a sailboat, this right here. I didn't think you put the sub as close to the, the sailboat. So I really... uh. Just assumed it would be back here. I'm about to take out my whale, which doesn't matter much. Let's see, I got another really great sea slug off. So right now I am searching for his catamaran or his sailboat. Because I'm not sure what this one I mean, longboat or sailboat, I'm not exactly sure what this one is yet. I put something here because I was like I thought be down here could be like this. I really wasn't exactly sure. And then I put something over here. Right here, we kind of thought, what if this is a, a longboat? So now I knew that I have to attack here and here. Of course, as you'll see, uh, yeah, I did the whale to reveal what it was. So right now, I'm thinking that this is the longboat. This right here is the sailboat. It's not, however. I see this. So I know I have to attack here and here. But this it has to be somewhere along here. So I, because I, right now I'm thinking it's a longboat, and that it can't be back here. So I attack here, attack here, I take it out. Now I know, I'm going to do it with my coracle next, but I know that this is a longboat, and how it's set up. That's really the best way you can play this fleet. That's essentially how you want to play it. Um, as the copy fleet, I have not played that one much. I'm still uh, in the testing phase, but once I get uh, it out better, uh, uh, I might play it more if it's better than this one or less. It's really all dependent on, on how good it is. Honestly, I don't think it's too good, but it is a fun fleet to play. As seeing how much I play, I played it. Uh, yeah, it's not the best, but it is fun, and I would recommend that one if you're just looking to have some fun. Now, of course, uh, being that this is a battle club ship, you do need battle club to play. I do have a recommend Battle Club. It's an awesome way to support the devs. If you like this game, you get more fleets, and you also get access to awesome ships like the Slug. And if you don't, if you don't like uh, any of these types of ships, like Coracles, Catamarans, revealing fleets, uh, I recommend just making an attack fleet. And instead of having maybe a mini sub or long boat or long sub. Or just another revealing like a whale, you use a sea slug instead. That's really all I have. Hope you enjoyed.